look at these images. Can you see faces in them? A depresso espresso perhaps. If so, you are not alone. Faces seem to pop up everywhere. This intriguing phenomenon is known as pareidolia, our tendency to spontaneously perceive meaningful patterns, particularly faces, in random stimuli like inanimate objects. Pareidolia arises from the evolutionary benefit of differentiating between friend and foe, in which recognising a face where there is not one is more advantageous in terms of survival. This phenomenon is linked to the function of the fusiform face area, or the FFA, a region in the human brain that plays a crucial role in recognising and discriminating between different faces, allowing us to identify individuals with ease. The fusiform face area is located in the fusiform gyrus, which is a part of the temporal lobe. The fusiform gyrus is located on the ventral surface of the brain, in the inferior temporal cortex. So what exactly is the process for recognising and understanding visual input? Firstly, visual sensory input is acquired via the retina of the eye. This is then transmitted via the optic nerve to the primary visual cortex in the occipital lobe for integration. Within the primary visual cortex, there is a specialised region called the occipital face area. This is involved in early face processing and helps detect and extract facial features like your nose. From the OFA, the visual information is then transmitted to the fusiform face area, which constructs a facial identity by configuring features from occipital interpretation. The layout of features is important because the FFA only responds to faces in the normal arrangement and with the correct orientation. The FFA is connected to the superior temporal sulcus, or the STS, which will then determine and interpret emotions from these faces that have been recognised. There is substantial evidence to support the proposed role of the FFA in facial recognition. For example, a study at Stanford University used transcranial magnetic stimulation to specifically target and temporarily disrupt the fusiform face area, resulting in a loss of facial recognition ability. The subject reported the doctor's face warping and becoming unrecognisable. This study provided direct evidence of the FFA's crucial role in face perception, highlighting its significance in this complex cognitive process. Affecting around 1 to 2.5% of the global population is a condition known as prosopagnosia, or face blindness. This condition causes affected individuals to experience difficulty in recognising and distinguishing between faces, where faces are not interpreted or processed any differently from any other objects. It might be hereditary and run in families, or other causes could be a result of brain damage, such as a stroke, encephalitis, or traumatic concussion.